what is going on YouTube it's your boy Cali and I am back after several months um, it's hard to hard to make videos lately due to some uh, family situations which I'll, I'll, I'll explain in the future if you guys want to know why but we are back thanks to someone who hit me up on Instagram who I will put this area right here who who's right I, I did say I was gonna make a video uh, expanding more on how to start a computer repair business with just two flash drives but then I said screw that you, you don't need two flash drives you only need one actually let me pick those up I need this real quick so here's the deal. So when I was saying that you needed two flash drives to uh, start a computer repair business, uh, mostly one of them was a Windows 10 installer, which I don't know if you guys can see, I label mine W10. It's my Windows 10 installer, and this one I have Hirens. It says Hirens and Tools. So let me just put my phone on silent <coughs> and instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna use just one flash drive with the software Ventoy. Now Ventoy has been around for a while and I had actually used it in the past and I completely forgot about it for some reason and then my coworker was like dude why don't you just use Ventoy you know and I was like holy crap dude you're right so <coughs> I'm going to show you guys today how to start a computer repair business with just one flash drive. Uh, the one that I have is 128 gigabytes just because if I need to, I'll use some of that space to quickly recover some data. Um, but if you have you know, an external hard drive or the customer provides you an external hard drive, you can use that to transfer data out. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is we are going to go over to Google Chrome. And you're just going to type in Ventoy. And it's going to be this bad boy right here. So we're going to go to Downloads. And you're going to download uh, the zip file. And it's going to send you to GitHub. And then you're going to do the release, the 10.0.51. Uh, you know, depending when you watch this video, there's probably going to be a new release. Uh, so you're just going to go ahead and click on that and then, again, download the zip file. Um, once downloaded... Oh, actually, you know what? Since we downloaded that, let's just go ahead and take care of all the other downloads. The other one that we're going to need is uh, Windows Media Creation Tool. So, Media Creation Tool. So, to get the ISO file, we're going to have to do a little bit uh, extra step rather than the just downloading this. So we're going to go ahead and download the tool. And then the other one that we need is a uh, higher end boot CD. And then we're going to go download. And then you have to scroll down and then you click on the one that says dot ISO. Click on that. And then it downloads the ISO image. Mine it says, you know, the, the little two down there because I already have it on my computer. Uh, so we can go ahead and uh, minimize this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, open up Windows File Explorer. And we are going to go and go to downloads and then we're going to unzip this right here. So we're going to go extract here. So I'm going to open up, I'm going to plug this in and we're going to redo it again because I mean, I already have the same ISOs that I need, except on mine. Let me plug it in just so I can show you. So uh, I have <laughs> no idea what the hell happened, why it froze. But 
Uh, we hear noise in the background. Wife is watching TV. Kids are watching their tablet. You know how it is. Anyways, where were we? All right. Um, so, in my drive, I don't know if I already said this. I have two Ventoys, right? Okay. Uh, in my drive, I have the Hirons, uh Stellar Bootable for Data Recovery, and the Windows ISO. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this drive. And I, I don't know if you guys know how to clean a drive with command prompt, which is, in my opinion, um, the best way to fully format a drive so there isn't any um, stuff in there. So what we're going to do is, oops, command prompt is disk part. Let that load up, then list disks. Excuse me. And then you're going to select the proper number to whichever disk you have minus um, disk 5. So we're going to go ahead and select disk 5. And now that it's selected, we're just going to go ahead and 